I'm Ben. I'm Madison. I'm Drew. We're the Disaster Dodgers. And we're here to help you. Be prepared. Today, we're going to talk about something really hot and dangerous. Way hotter than that spicy burrito I had for lunch. Fire. Somebody call me. Fires can happen without warning. In your home, at school, in a store or restaurant, almost anywhere. And they spread fast. In just two minutes, fire could do real harm. In only five minutes, fire can spread throughout an entire house. And heat and smoke can be even more dangerous. Because fire spreads so fast, it's important for you and your family to have a plan and practice it. Let's say you wake up at home one night and you smell smoke or hear the smoke alarm. <coughs> Here's what to do. Yell, fire, and get out as fast as you can. If there's a lot of heat and smoke, crawl low on the floor. Before you open a door, feel it. Check the doorknob too. If they feel hot, there may be fire on the other side. Try to get out another way. Meet at a familiar spot outside your home. Call 911. If you don't have a cell phone handy, use the nearest neighbor's home. 911, what's your emergency? There's a fire at 322 Oak Lane. Once you're out of your home, don't go back for anything or anyone. Fires are dangerous, but you and your family can prepare for one by making a family communications plan. Your family should agree on two ways to get out and pick a safe, easy to remember place to meet once outside. Have a fire drill at home with your family so everyone will know what to do. Every family should have a working smoke alarm at home. Have your parents check the batteries and test it. Pay attention to what it sounds like so you'll recognize it if you hear it in a disaster. Beep! Fires do happen. Be ready. Talk to your family about making a plan and taking time to practice it. Get started tonight. Always remember, when it comes to disasters, be informed. Make a plan. Get prepared and go to ready.gov to find out more.